So what's up everyone? <laughs> so I'm trying to change up my greeting because my friends gave me some feedback and said that every video I was like, hey everyone! And they said, oh my god, it's kind of like getting too much, it's too much. So that would be back. I take any feedback, good or bad, and uh, in my next series called Girl Crushes. And today um, it's gonna also pay homage to none other but Jen from head to toe so I love her videos I've been following her for a very long time and also because um obviously she does the Asian monolid eye look that I love and she taught me a lot of the tricks that I know now and in the video we're gonna look at the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette so I managed to get my hands on this one because Mecca Cosmetica did a one day kind of like special where they launched it for one day only and it sold out in like a few hours which is amazing I managed to get my hands on one so <laughs> um, so in the video I do a quick tutorial I, no I don't do a quick tutorial in the video I do a quick swatch video which you can check out and then I go into trying to recreate Jen's look using the same palette so a lot of the things that she used I try to use the next best thing that I have so we kind of recreate it so I hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you do, please like and subscribe. Please don't unlike. I got really upset when I got one unlike in my other video, and I was like... Shh. <laughs> yep, I hope you enjoy this video, and please keep watching. Hey guys, I just want to do a quick swatch of the new Naked Heat palette, which I got from Mecca. So here are the shades. It does come with the Urban Decay brush, which I usually quite like with all the palettes. So let's get swatching. So here's my arm. Clear, clear, clear. <laughs> my tan line on my watch. So excuse my goosebumpy arms. I'm actually quite cold. It's in the middle of winter when I'm taking these swatches. So the first shade is ounce. It's a light shimmery shade, very pretty. Next is Chaser. It looks like my skin tone. <laughs> so that's Chaser. Next is Sourced. Very lovely shade. I think that would totally be my crease shade. Then low blow. That's a funny name. Low blow. This is Lumbre. I love that shade. Look how coppery that is. Love it. Then He Devil. What a bizarre name. So on the first watch of He Devil, you could tell it's quite chalky. So, but it's super pigmented. Um, yeah. Let's keep them going. Dirty talk. Oh, that's lovely. I love that one. That looks so good. Then on to Cayenne. Onto the next shade, En Fuego. Sorry if I butchered that name. Oh, that looks lovely. Ashes. That is actually the darkest shade in the whole. Um, the dark shade in the whole palette. Amber. Oh, I love that. Take that back. That is a dark shade in the palette. So here you go. Here are the swatches of the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. So Jen starts off her first look with Lumber, the shade Lumber, which is um, the rosy gold shade onto her eyes. So just patting it on. So like her, I've already prepped my skin and my eyelids and got it prepped and primed, ready to look. It just pats it on. Pat, 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 pat. Oops, 
Sorry about the dog barking outside. So she, that actually goes in with a fingertip to intensify the shade. So let's do that. So I actually like looking, I actually am a big fan of Jen because she, me and her, we do have quite similar eye shape and um, yeah, I think her tutorials were very useful at a, at a time when I was getting into makeup, there wasn't a lot of like Asian eye looks or anything, or well, they are, they were like very like sleek and like heavy eyeliner. So the next thing she does is she takes the shade Sourced, uh, which is like a transitional shade and she starts from the outer corner and blends it in so I don't usually put my makeup on like this so this is kind of like so she goes into the the eye socket so where your eye socket starts and just starts blending in from the outside in she doesn't actually go all the way in so start it there and pull it in just to blend everything out god these colors are so pigmented, it's ridiculous. Love it, love the naked palettes. And whatever's left on the brush, it just, just like kind of blends it out. And half moon shades. She takes the shade Dirty Talk and puts it onto the outer third of her eyes. Oh, that really pops. And drags it in. And then she takes Ashes, which is like one of the darkest sh matte shade in the, um, it's a matte, I don't know, it's a bit of, got a bit of glitter on it. And she puts onto the outer th part of her eye, kind of like a line, she actually puts a line in, but she smudges it out. So let's do that. So she does bring it quite in, so she does like a, like a lines the whole eye with it. <laughs> and she brings it pretty low into the, where your lower lash meets. And bring it down to where your lower lashes are. Alright, I totally need to blend this out. And she does take that shade into the crease, so let's do that. It just gives a bit of definition, let's tap it in. You know, you cannot freaking tap, 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 tap. So kind of making a out of V shape on your eye. So can you see? Deep, 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 deep. She then takes a, so I just kind of, kind of like blend it out a little bit more because I muddled muddled it up but once you blend it out it actually looks quite nice she then goes in and uses one of the shades from the urban decay to line the lower lash line i don't have that so i'm just gonna go in with a kind of like a rose gold color pop cream gel liner in get paid and give that a whirl just line your lower lash line And then she goes back with the shade Ashes, which is just the darkest one, and she kind of goes on the bottom lash line. Sorry, my light is reflecting my mirror, hence why I'm getting all shiny looking. So she just laid it on top, so let's give that a whirl. Just ties everything together when you do this. I used to be quite hesitant using these shades because I don't want it to look like I got punched in the eye. It looks like, sometimes if you don't do it right, it looks like you get to, you, you have two black eyes. <laughs> so I think this is definitely an amazing tutorial. Good, great job, Jen. So just connect the top and the bottom. And yep, once the eyeliner is set, it looks pretty damn good. She then goes in with the lighter shade in the palette called Ounce. Whoops, I just dropped the brush. And she highlights the brow bone, but not too much because it's quite a shimmery shade, so you don't want to just like put too much shine in there. So it's just used as like to help blend out the top shade. So do that. 
ties everything together. And then she does go into the inner corner of her eyes with it as well. So let's do that. Oh, I don't have a brush. Ah. I'm going to use the other side of my dirty brush. Alright, once the highlight of the eyes are done, she goes in with a black liquid eyeliner and she draws quite a sharp eyeliner, cat eye. So she just go for a quick cat eye, so let's give that a whirl. I think putting on eyeliner is quite, um, takes quite a bit of practice. She actually went in with the flick first, but I personally like doing the whole eye, so I just do the whole eye. On um, both sides before I try the flick. And I think with such a dramatic eye look, you need a dramatic line to go with it. So, let's see if I can do it. Have you ever noticed there's always one side of the eye you do really well on the other side? It's kind of like you pray, you pray, you pray, you, you do get the same evenness. So, let's give this a go. And then curl your lashes and put on some mascara. So I gotta curl the living Dallas out of my, my out of my lashes because uh, yeah, I'm they're all dead straight. I'm just going in with my whatever mascara I'm using at the moment, which is the Kiko Unforgettable Waterproof Mascara. So like Jen, I look down when I put on my mascara because otherwise I get them all over my top leads. <laughs> so girl, I get ya. Why did I wink? I do know why I winked because now I've got mascara on my, under my eyes. Oh, right. And then we'll go in like her with some falsies just to make it a, a more dramatic look. More dramatic. So more dramatic. So while my eyelashes are drying, I'm going to pop some mascara onto my bottom lashes. Um, if you watched some of my earlier videos, I've mentioned that I actually don't like putting mascara on my bottom lashes, but let's give it a go. So the thing is, with you get away with a smoky eye is that if it looks slightly undone, it's not so bad. Ooh. All right. Clearly, you cannot tell any difference when I put on my mascara on my lower lash line, but I did get some on my eye, so let's clean that up a little bit. I have all but 10 eyelashes on my bottom lash line, so I don't think it made much of a difference to do that. So, cool. So that's the eyes done, and now on to the rest of the face. Alright, so now this is kind of where I differ a little bit. So she starts using products that I don't have. So I'm just going to do what I'm used to and onto the brows. So she does create a very arch brow, which is good because Jen had a, quite a straight brow, but my brow is quite arched. And she does go for the arch look because the eye is just so dramatic. So, so I'm just using the It Cosmetics Brow Power. And drawing it in. Sometimes when I want to do a dramatic brow, and also I should. 
So sometimes when I want to do a dramatic brow, I do like to use like a pomade or something, but I'll stick with my pencil for now. And she does extend it quite far out. So her tail is quite long. She elongates the tail. And I think that is required when you do have such a dramatic eye look. Mascara everywhere. Jeez, what's wrong with me? So you see the difference a brow can make. <gasps> so the way you can tell where the brow tail ends is where your eyeliner sits. So my eyeliner kind of like intersects it. So this one's a little bit shorter, so I'm gonna extend that a little bit more. And likewise with this side, extend it a little bit more. I then like to go and set it all with my brow. My, a brow mascara and I'm using the Maybelline Brow Drama in medium brown. To kind of like set everything in place. Tame the unruly eyebrows. Oh, Jane then goes on to warming up her face with a bit of a bronzer. I'm actually, today I'm using the Stila Stay All Day Bronzer in medium. So let's give this a whirl. Let's use this as my guide. So under the cheekbone and just warm it up. I'm not like, she doesn't go contouring or anything. So just to warm up the skin because when you do apply it, foundation you do tend to get a little bit washed out so on camera i look a little bit washed out here but you can tell i'm looking at myself in the mirror and i'm like i am getting tanned which is good because i am in the middle of winter so it's a bit more color happening here put it on the jawline let's define that baby a bit more and under the cheeks so make sure you blend it out so the black, the bronzer and the bronzer she used has a bit of a blush as well. Um, I don't have that, so I've gonna go in with my trusty little blush, which is the hourglass one, and I'm just gonna do the tops of the cheekbones with this color. Don't go anything too crazy here, only because I'm just kind of like. I'm gonna just blend it in with the bronzer that was given. So she goes from top of her temples to as far down as her cheeks towards her lips. So head down towards the lips. So kind of gives a quite a nice chiseled effect. I do like that. Thank you for sharing, Jen. She then goes in with a highlighter, which is the Urban to Urban Decay Fireball. I also don't have it, so I'm gonna go with my favorite highlighter, which is always the Becca Champagne Pop. So I love this shade. I'm actually just gonna go with my fingers because I forgot to bring up. Actually, I'm doing use the same brush I used for my foundation, for my bronzer. So I just tap it on. I think because <laughs> the lighting here washes me out a little bit, you can't really tell, but the glow. It's there. The glow is there. So Jen does go ahead and uses the limited edition heat lipstick, which is one of the darkest shades in the range. I don't have. It's actually not even available in Australia yet. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go in with a metallic lipstick. I'm um, using the Kylie Metal Lipstick in Dancer. So it's from the holiday edition. So I should never use this before. So let's give it a whirl. All right. I actually didn't like that metallic shade, it was actually a bit too plummy, so I'm going to go with a brighter lip and we're going to go with, oop, it is the gloss from the holiday collection which is naughty, so go ahead. So this shade is a little bit redder than I intended, but I think it does com complement the look really well. Even though 
The eyes are so dramatic. I think having a dramatic lip to match it does look really good. So this is the finished look and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, definitely check out Jen's channel. I mean, she's got like, you know, over nearly 2 million subscribers. So she's good for a reason, right? I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, take care and I'll catch you later and see you next time. Bye.